Hello there folks. This quick video today is going to show you how to connect a USB barcode reader to your Red Lion Graphite HMI. If you're familiar with the new Graphite HMIs, they have two USB host ports on the bottom. You can use those for such things as putting a mouse, a keyboard, or even a barcode reader on there. Normally, uh, people who use with barcode readers, they would have been a RS-232 based comms, but with the new ones, uh, you can get them with USB and they plug into a computer. Most often used for a point of sale type application at a uh, store or some or in a distribution center. Anyway, so let's go ahead and show you what we got here. On this application, uh, we're going to be using the MicroScan HS-51X wireless DPM reader. That's what we've got plugged into a graphite 9 inch here. Uh, the reason I'm using this two things. One, customer of mine had told me this is what they wanted to use and number two I saw this important little point down here try it for free so I sent an email to Microscan and eventually after six weeks somebody finally called me a local guy and uh, got back to me and I'm borrowing this unit right now for this test I'm borrowing it because uh, apparently it's about eighteen hundred dollars for this unit so that's what I'm gonna be holding and using for the class today it's got a little base module that it goes into and that plugs into the uh, graphite HMI here. And I've got a number of barcodes that I printed out that we'll be playing with. So let me go over here to our Crimson program and show you what we've got here. So in Crimson, uh, the first thing we're going to do, uh, we've got over here in Communications. And in Communications, over here on the left, you're going to see there is a USB host ports section here. What you're going to want to do is go down to the keyboard section here. Go down to the keyboard section. And up here where it says driver settings, go ahead and turn that on yes, because the barcode is going to read in ASCII serial or ASCII uh, code. So we're going to turn on the keyboard to be uh, yes here. That's step one. Step two is we're going to go over here to data tags on the left, and we're going to go ahead and create a new string tag right here, a string tag. And uh, I've already got one here, so I'll just delete it. The string tag you can tell has capitals A, B, and I've changed the name from just tag one to barcode underscore reader. It's currently just an internal tag, uh, nothing special here. I did go to the format tab. I don't know if you actually have to do this, but down here in the format tab, down here where it says format type, I did hit the pick button, and I did declare this as a string, which would let me set a limit to the length. Yeah, I don't think you actually have to do that, but that's what I did do. Then I went over here to display pages and uh, I'll go ahead and delete it from here so you can see what we got. Here's our blank screen right here. Now I'm going to put that value on the screen so we can actually see it. So I will go over here to the right side of Crimson, click on data tags over here, and I'll simply just drag this barcode tag out here on the screen and I'm going to make this field much bigger so you can see everything. I'll just stretch it across like this. Now this field is going to be a data entry field because basically it's going to act like we touch it and it'll read in, but we're going to make this automated. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the data entry field. If you remember this from one of my classes, if you, you click somewhere else where you have no focus on anything, and then if you just hover over the item and click one time, and then click the uh, data entry button right here, the little jalapeno button, that'll make it be a data entry field. Now I'll go the long way and go to properties and it's on the data tab here. It's this same section right here where it says display only normally. In this case we're going to make it be data entry. And then since I'm in here I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, make the font bigger in this case. Down here I'll hit the pick and I'll just change to a different font so we can kind of see what it looks like here. And then I'm also going to go to the format tab, actually I think it's the figure tab here, and I'm going to give it a little border around this just so we can see it, like so. And we'll put that in there like that. Maybe I'll make that font a little bit bigger. Maybe not that big. Uh, hold on, let's do this here. Right about there, that's good enough for now. Okay, now one more thing you need to do here in this application to get the barcode reader to show up is click on the word pages over here on the left click on the word pages here 
and if you go to the entry tab right here on the entry tab uh, down here where it says auto initiate go ahead and enable that and what that means if I hit the F2 button here it brings up the little help or I'm sorry not F2 the F1 button over that thing indicate whether the data entry field should be automatically initiated uh, as alpha, alphanumeric characters this feature can be used to allow easier editing and provide better support for USB barcode readers ah perfect perfect what we're doing so we'll go ahead and do that we'll click on the page here and let's go ahead and save this program and let's download it and see what happens here whoops I'm not going to do it there I'll go ahead and download it here and I've got the web page running so we can see it so here's the web page application right here and if I just take one of my barcode readers and scan one of my barcodes you can hear the beep and as you look at the screen you can see it automatically brings up the data entry box and if this is correct you just hit the enter button right here and it will keep that value in here now down below here I made a button called clear it and I'll show you why um, let me go ahead and scan another one so you can see what happens here if I scan another field here you'll see that it rings it in and then maybe I still got that or if I go scan another one congruently at the same time you'll see that it keeps reading in the characters until I get to I think the length of 40 is what I ended up putting in Let's see if I can grab this one here again so if I hit the enter button it'll take it all and it'll show all those values across there now I've got a key here called clear it when I click that you'll see that it disappears let me just show you what that thing does if I go over here to the program I double click on clear it and this is just a bevel button is all it is I've got it so it says the text clear it on the more tab I always like to show off down to the right that way it depresses a little bit when you hit the real button if you go to the action tab here and on the action tab down here where it says on released if I hit the edit button it brings up my little editor and all I've done here is I've grabbed this tag and I've dragged it out here like this let me delete this so you can see it brand new I basically grabbed this tag from the right hand side and drop it right here make it equal one equal sign and then two semicolons which will be a null field that'll clear it and I'll click the OK button and OK and what that does is that resets this back to nothing when you're done so anyway that's just a quick example of how you can use the uh, in this example like I said I'm using the Microscan HS51X barcode scanner connected USB into my graphite G09 HMI look at the price that boy my HMI is actually less expensive than this thing that's uh, huh, amazing that they cost that much anyway uh, and I'm using some barcodes I got off the web to test it out works pretty good so I just thought I'd show a quick demo of how that uh, interacts the key points to this example I think the real key point is uh, two things over here on communications and keyboard go ahead and turn this on to yes and on display pages over on the left click on the word pages on top and use the auto initiate right here go ahead and turn this on to auto initiate enable and that should uh, do the demo for you hopefully uh, this works out well for you if you got any questions please let us know and thanks a lot for considering using redline HMI products have a great day see you